Okay, I just want to show you guys a new switch motor that I got. It's from the same company that makes the Tortoise switch machines. This is, I guess, you would call it the sister switch machine. Anyways, it's the Smail slow motion actuator with integrated logic. In other words, to make it short, it's a Tortoise switch machine with a DCC decoder inside already installed. So this is something that's gonna be really cool. Uh, let's check out, see what's in the box. Okay, so what we got here is instructions, the actual switch motor itself. It looks like pretty much identical to the, the tortoise switch machine. Just a couple more holes and different color. Um, we got the screw, piano wire, and also this piece here where the piano wire runs through. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a quick overview on this and as we install it and use it we'll see how it runs. So Okay, so what's really cool here, like the tortoise, I, I've never purchased the tortoise, but um, with the instructions they give you right here right there a template for you to cut out and put it on your layout so you to install it also how to bend your the wire there for the actuator so as this goes on you will be kept up to date uh, I do have a lot of reading here with the manual um, just to do a quick overview it looks pretty sturdy motors nice and tight you can barely move it with your hand uh, like I was saying, this goes in over here like this. The piano wire goes in here, it goes through there, and it flips it. Um, I have all your pins. There's a piece that you can buy that slides in and out. I'm going to, I think that's what I'm going to purchase next so that I don't have to solder. And then back here, it looks like the big difference is here is there's a little LED light and the switch here for programming the decoder. Okay, let's go check out the layout quick and give you guys an update what's going on there. So as you can see that there's been a lot of work done to the layout on top and as well as bottom when you guys take a look. Um, pretty much all the lines are laid down. Um, let's take a closer look on uh, what I did. So over here I left this section open so that when the other piece of the layout comes in it butts in, then I can put a small section of track. But as we go over here, we got our first turnout going into the coal yard. I think it's looking pretty good. There's going to be a mountain back there. And that's going to be more or less where the castle sits. There's three lines over there three main three main branches there is the grain facility coming across doing its loop so I think it's turning out pretty good Let's see if I can get an aerial view of what's going on there you go Oh, there you go helicopter view all right so let's go check out the under under part of the layout see what I did okay so here's the under part of my layout so as you as I was saying before the red and black is just gonna be my uh, DC or my AC I haven't decided yet most likely I think it's gonna be DC bus line the blue and white is my DCC bus line and the purple wires here is gonna be for um, the block detections and then we have a green wire right here and that's for my um, frog powering my frogs so Pretty much everything is wired. Try to keep it as neat as I can. So, 
I'm going to explain what happened here with that hole in a second, so bear with me. There you go. Okay, so for here what happened was, I tried to install the Pico switch motors, and uh, I ended up buying the extended pin ones. Ended up being not enough pin to go through the plywood and the, the styrofoam, so I, so I first started cutting out, cutting out the plywood. Then I started gradually cutting into the styrofoam, slowly, 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 and next thing I knew, I had no more styrofoam to cut, and the switch was still not working. Was not too impressed with that. Hence why I bought the snail switch motor. Well, see, that 10 times fast, holy jeez. So, and there's my ECU, or ESU uh, decoder, uh, accessory decoder. Um, I think I'm just gonna use that the power lights now, since I'm not gonna be using the Pico switches. We'll see how that, that snail switch motor works out. Hopefully it's gonna be good. And if so, then I guess I'm gonna be selling those Pico motors. So, here, let's go up on top. Yeah, so I'm not exactly too happy, man. There's there's a pretty big hole here. And then if we go up on top, there's a hole there too. Not very impressed with what happened. Ended up taking a couple of weeks here, just for a break. So I got really frustrated. Actually, you know what we can do? I haven't tried yet. Try and do it. Uh, let's try doing a test run here. See how the tracks are doing. So I have everything hooked up. So there's my DCC bus line. And uh, yeah, give me a second. I'm gonna hook it up, see how it goes. Okay, I'll just show you guys real quick. Um, I am using I am going to be using my original DCC control system, which was the Di uh, Dynamis with the Dynamis Pro Box uh, from Bachman. It's actually a really good system. And then what else I did was with the Bachman with the Bachman plug going into the ESU plug, so I can go either way. And then I have alligator clips, something to put together. Okay, sorry guys, just give me a second. Okay, so the system is powered up. Okay, so, so far so good. We got power on that truck. Let's uh, move her forward. Let's make sure the switch is in the proper direction. It wasn't. So there it is that way, and that would be because the switch. Okay. So let's uh, try making her go backwards and see how that runs. There you go. Now this line that this freight train's running on is the inner line, but that's really what, really what it's for is for the um, the coal cars coming off of the inner main line, and then as they come down, if you notice, there is no cork underneath the track there by the coal facility. So as she's coming around there. Not only, not only does that line serve for the coal mine, but also serves for the grain facility. So as the coal, car, as the coal train comes around, it will bypass the grain facility, come around, and we'll go underneath. the coal facility to get reloaded. I'm just using this as a demonstration. Obviously these are not coal cars. These are actually, I have what I have, two box cars and two three bay hopper. So.
So I think there's probably a lot of uh, operations that this can probably go and do. So I'm not complaining. Okay, let's put her back over there. Uh, the outer passenger line, I don't have it hooked up only because it is in blocks. And uh, I guess that's going to have to be another day that I have to wire everything together. Uh, what else? I guess let's try main, main three. So, so far so good. Seems to be working. And uh, Okay, so what's next is going to be installing that switch motor, the Smail Smith, the the Smail switch motor, and uh, yeah, so keep tuned. We're going to be doing a lot of testing with that motor, see how it works. So I've I've heard good reviews about the Tortoise, and like I said, this is the Tortoise with DCC, so I don't see that being any problems, but uh, we'll find out. Guys, thanks again. Keep on modeling.